Today, I'm going to talk about what is a crypto IRA, because a crypto IRA is something that could potentially produce extremely large returns while getting some serious tax advantages. So in this video, I'm going to give you everything you'll likely need to know when it comes to crypto IRAs. OK, I'm going to break down what cryptocurrencies are for all the beginners out there. I'll talk about how crypto IRAs work and the major benefits of some crypto IRAs, as well as some of the potential pit falls and lastly we'll talk about why you may want to consider it so if all that sounds good to you then make sure you like this video while the intro plays Hey there, and welcome to our channel. I'm Sean with Life Accounting, the accounting company that helps you save on taxes and build more wealth. So if those are some of your goals as well, then make sure you are subscribed to our channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. And as always, this is not financial advice. Now let's go ahead and get into it with number one, what is cryptocurrency? Now I won't spend too much time on this because I know some people are already up to speed on what cryptocurrencies are, but let me quickly explain for those of you who are not and if you do have experience with it make sure you comment below and tell me if I left anything important out so at the highest level cryptocurrency is a digital asset or a currency that you can invest in trade or spend in exchange for goods or services. Some people who really understand crypto refer to it as a store of value. But what does a store of value really mean? Okay, here's the thing. Many people refer to the US dollar as a store of value simply because you can earn it and you can save it by putting it in a bank. Therefore, you're storing your value, right? Well, not necessarily because the US government can print more dollars and hurt the value of the dollar, okay? This is referred to as inflation. And that is why the US dollar may not be seen as a great store of value. Just take a look at this old screenshot showing how much the cost of living used to be in 1970. And now going into 2022, those same prices are 10 times what they used to be in 1970. So if you put your US dollars in a bank and let it sit you could lose value. Now, before cryptocurrencies were a thing, some people would use gold as a store of value because unlike the US dollars, gold cannot be printed because you have less supply and you don't need to worry about inflation as much. So if you had gold in 1970 instead of cash, then you had a much higher chance of storing your value. But the one problem with gold is gold can be mined. And as gold is mined, there is a little bit of inflation that occurs as well. And so this is where Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies come into play. Bitcoin cannot be printed or mined, all right? It is truly a fixed supply within a digital ledger. Basically, it is a bank that cannot be controlled because cryptocurrencies are decentralized, meaning that it is not tied to any government, any economy, or any currency. So hypothetically, Bitcoin that you hold today should be able to buy you the same thing it could 40 years from now at the same cost, unlike the US dollar, which could be printed. So there you have it, your quick crash course on why cryptocurrencies are so popular. Now let's go ahead and move into number two. How does a crypto IRA work? So just like any other IRA, a crypto IRA is basically a retirement account where you can invest and store crypto. All right, there are similar limitations such as the maximum contribution to a crypto IRA will be somewhere between 6,000 to 7,000 thousand dollars in 2022 now the main difference between a crypto ira and the more traditional iras is of course well with crypto iras you are not forced to invest only in the stock market. And another slight difference is that instead of you having a traditional brokerage account, you would likely need to store your crypto inside of a digital wallet. So if you are bullish on crypto, then it could be a really great investment strategy for you, which by the way, if you would like to see us do more videos on cryptocurrencies and investing in that type of stuff, then make sure you tell us in the comment section below. All right, moving along to number three, what are the benefits of a crypto IRA? Now, probably the biggest benefit of a crypto IRA are the potential 
returns. I mean, people are making millions and even billions of dollars by investing in cryptocurrencies. Let's compare for a second, all right? As we know, inflation is rising in the US, and at the time of this recording, inflation is recorded at 6.8%, meaning the value of the dollar appears to be declining 6.8%. But some people would argue that inflation is much higher, but let's digress on that for now. Now, if we look at gold, in the last year, gold has actually declined 4.88%, but it still is holding more value than the dollar like we talked about earlier. Now, if we switch over and look at Bitcoin in the last year, you can see that Bitcoin is up 175% over the last year, which is insane enough. I mean, I could hardly think of any investments outside of business that are producing those types of returns. But listen, it gets even better, okay? Take a look at another cryptocurrency called Ethereum. Ethereum is up 729% over the last year, which if you had contributed $6,000 into a crypto IRA one year ago, it would now be worth almost $50,000. And the best part is the second benefit, which is you won't have to pay any taxes on the gain unless you pull out the money before retirement. And I'll talk about this a little bit more later on in the video. And if these returns continue, then that could set you up for a very, very comfortable retirement. Now, if you would like to see me make a step-by-step -step video on how to set up a crypto IRA, then I will do that if this video can get at least 1,000 likes, because that will tell me, okay, a lot of people are interested in setting up a crypto IRA. Moving on to number four, what are the risks or potential pitfalls of a crypto IRA? Let's start with some obvious ones, okay? This is a relatively new asset class trading for about 12 to 13 years. So unlike other asset classes like stocks, real estate, or even art, this is an infant. And because of that, many people are still skeptical and would rather wait to see if others pick it up before they put their money in it so that they can reduce their risk. So let me introduce you to this adoption curve. So right now we are in a period of early adopters, maybe even slightly on the cups of early majority. But one thing that time has shown us is that you can't stop innovation. And as long as cryptocurrencies technologies remain to be bulletproof, it doesn't get hacked and you can bet that more people will trust and invest in the asset class, including the various projects within the space. But for now, some people are still skeptical and sussing out the asset class. So there will be volatility, okay? Because people, especially new investors, may be hoping for a short-term gain and sell at the first sign of negative news, hoping to exit before a crash. While other investors who strongly believe in crypto as an asset will continue to hold. Hey, Sean, look, I have diamond hands. Now, the other kind of small risk is that there are high fees associated with trading cryptos. So you'll likely have some high transaction fees and something known as gas fees for making crypto trades. But don't let those fees scare you because at one point there were high fees associated with investing in the stock market as well before apps like Robinhood and other brokerages eliminated their fees as they scaled online. So I can only imagine that the fees will be reduce if not completely eliminated eventually, but you don't want that to stop you if you want to make an investment for the long term. All right, number five, how do crypto IRA taxes work? The first big thing you need to understand is that the IRS considers cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin as property. So it is subject to short-term or long-term capital gains. If you need an explanation on how capital gains taxes work, then I'll make sure I link up to one of my videos above. Now with an IRA, you can avoid capital gains taxes through the use of a traditional crypto IRA or a Roth crypto IRA. With a traditional crypto IRA, your contributions are often tax deductible, which means you don't have to pay taxes on your contributions until you withdraw your funds. Then you can avoid capital gains taxes on your earnings and distribution at retirement age. Now, there are annual contribution limits based on your filing status and annual income that you should be aware of. Now, with a Roth IRA, you pretty much get the same benefits, but your contributions are not tax deductible. So you just need to keep that in mind if you're starting a Roth crypto IRA. 
All right, number six, who should consider a crypto IRA? Well, I think overall that it is for anyone who is comfortable with taking on more risk for higher gains. Okay, let me repeat that, more risk for higher gains. Okay, that could be a young investor who can handle taking on losses because they have a family that can support them or they have parents who can take care of them. That could be an old investor who may not have planned for retirement very well and really wants to hit some home runs very late in the investment game and anyone else in between, all right? The key thing I would say is if you invest, make sure you invest in what you're willing to lose because while there are a lot of reasons to be bullish on crypto, there's never a guarantee that the gains will continue. All right, now, during this video, I mentioned several things that I want to remind you of before I end. First, if I miss something and you have a better explanation of crypto, make sure you tell me in the comment section below, okay? And second, if you wanna see a step-by-step -step video on how to set up a crypto IRA, make sure you like this video, and if it gets 1,000 likes, then I'll be sure to do it. Okay, now we have two more videos coming up next that the YouTube algorithm recommends for you, and we'll see you over there.